Hi other tech enthusiasts, welcome back to our channel Fast Cabling. So outdoor installation is where the challenges of distance and power supply often stump even the best tech expert. So today in this video, we have something truly remarkable to show you. A setup that demonstrates the incredible capabilities of the composite fiber optic cables. So how's that possible? Let's dive in. Now we can check this out. We have this wireless SS point and this outdoor PoE switch is up and running. And around this part of the setup, there's no power supply nearby. So the secret is actually our composite fiber optic cables. Now this is not your ordinary cables. This is a game changer for outdoor network setup. So normally, fiber optic cables are fantastic for data transmission over long distances. But the thing is, they cannot carry power. And that's the big problem for outdoor installation, where power source can be hard to come by. So here enter the composite fiber optic cables. Now this cable are a hybrid marvel, combining the fiber optics for data and copper conductor for power. This means that we can transmit both power and data from our main end and over a long distances, directly to our outdoor equipment. So it looks like a regular cable, but inside, actually, it has a whole different story. The fiber string handles the high-speed data transmission, while the copper wires take care of the power. And it's like having a super highway for data and a dedicated power line, and all wrapped up in a robust outer armor jacket. So now you can see the complete setup. Now this setup is perfect for scenario like installing devices in remote outdoor locations. Without needing a power supply nearby, now you can set up your network gear virtually anywhere. So let's break it down. The power and data are going to start here from the control room and then travel through our composite fiber optic cable, reaching our outdoor PoE switch that's 100 meter away. And voila, our network is live and kicking without the need for an external power source. So let's get our hands on. So let's start by connecting this router to a media converter using this ethernet cable. So it come all the way to the media converter. Let's plug it in here. Now this is a critical piece since it can translate the ethernet signal from the router into optical signal. So it can be transmitted over this fiber optic cable. And here we have an SFP transceiver. This is where we connect with the fiber optic cable. Today we're using this single mode LC connector, fiber patch cord. So the fiber patch cord is all the way connected to this distribution box. Now this distribution box acts as our central hub, managing and distributing the fiber optic signal and support up to 12 string and also the power supply. So on the other side of the distribution box, we have the air switch. Now this is a safety device that protects our setup from electrical overloads and short circuits. And let's apply the power to our distribution box. Here we go. This is our composite fiber optic cable. It consists of two fiber optic strings and three wires. And one of this wire is dedicated to grounding, an essential safety measure to protect our equipment from electrical searches. So following our composite fiber optic cable, we have our outdoor search protector. Now, this protector can ensure our outdoor devices are safe from electrical hazard. The composite fiber optic cable is here on this side connecting. And we are going to also use a fiber patch cord to connect it all the way to the switch. And the power supply also, they're in place as well. We have the surge protector and the air switch. And also, it has a protected case, so we don't need to worry, it's waterproof. So finally, the composite fiber optic cable is connecting to this outdoor PoE switch. The power supply is already plugged in. Next, we are going to 
insert our fiber optic cable. Doing the same thing, this is the SFP transceiver. Let's plug it into the switch. And here is the fiber optic cable from our composite fiber optic cable. Last but not least, let's use an ethernet cable to connect it all the way to our wireless SS point. And one thing, this composite fiber optic cables can be directly buried underground. And this is where the magic happened. Now I'm going to turn on this air switch and everything will receive both power and data at the same time over this side because our composite fiber optic cable are transmitting both the power and the data. So one thing you may notice, today we are using AC power for our setup. Now this is beneficial for transmitting power over a longer distances, as higher voltage transmission is more efficient and results in a lower energy loss. But one thing to keep in mind, make sure you properly ground your AC power system on both ends and also ensure that they have proper safety mechanism in place such as the circuit breakers and the surge protector. And for general use of the AC power, a license is typically not required. However, for electrical installation, modifications or repair work, licensing requirements are usually supplied and are enforced for safety and compliance reasons. And of course, if you want to use the DC power instead, here are a video that you can watch. So coming to the end, this is just scratching the surface of what the composite fiber optic cable can do. Now they're solving the real world problem in outdoor network setup, bridging distances that were once impossible without complex power solution. So it's innovation at its finest. Thank you very much for tuning in. If you are also amazed by this technology as we are, you can give us a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe for more cool tech insights. And if you get any questions or ideas, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. And I'll see you in the next video.